Okay, this is going to be uh, hopefully a short video just to show how to remove bolts that are problems or broken bolts inside the fender arch where the fender is bolted on. See, this, this one, the nut isn't, the bolt is just turning and the nut is turning. It flows together and nothing's stopping it so you can pull it out. So what I'm going to try to do is cut the washer off. I'm gonna wire brush it, and then I'm gonna see if I could weld the nut back into the fender without causing a problem, and hopefully this will come out with a 13 wrench. That's the plan. Let's see if it works. First, we're gonna cut a little bit of washer off that's still on there. Well, we're going to wire brush it, plan, uh, plan B, we're going to wire brush it, try to get at least one tack in there, and then this won't spin, and we'll be able to cut the washer off. So we got to get the welder hooked up. Okay, let's try tacking it. Now that we have some nice clean metal there. We don't have no gas. I have to check that out. Okay, we rectified the gas situation. Okay, let's see what that got us. Okay, let's grind some of that washer off. I think we got it. Yes, we did. We want to work it back and forth a little bit. All right. Okay, we're gonna run our tap through that. We're gonna finish welding around it. I have the welder turned way up to get penetration on that, but I don't need it now. It'll burn up the sheet metal. I have to turn it down.
okay. I'm gonna clean that up with the grinder and then tap that hole to make sure the threads are all right. Okay, let's run the tap through it. Seems to be going in, no problem. Okay, we're gonna hit this a couple more times, then we're gonna. Okay, I just re I welded more around the nut. Now I'm gonna hit it with the the uh, grinder. Just clean it up, and then we're gonna try the treads again. Okay, I believe that'll be fine. I'll try the threads. Okay, that worked out well. We're gonna do one more. I have one more, and we're gonna try that one. A little different than this one. Okay, with this one, we got something altogether different broke off and it's the nut is a little shaky on there so we're going to clean it up with the wire brush tack the nut a couple times and then we're going to weld the nut onto this little piece that's hanging out and hope that that'll help extract the broken bolt We're only going to put one or two tacks on. We've got to leave room for the nut. Uh, it seems to be working pretty good. Just a little tack. Well, hopefully we got enough room to put the nut in there. Take it in as far as you can. You want to be able to get in there to weld. Hope we have enough. Well, let's hope that's enough. Let me get my wrench. Oh, let's move it a little bit. There we go. Oh no, the nut came off. All right, what we got to do then is try a bigger nut because I didn't get good penetration on the threads. Okay, I got a little bigger nut. I'm gonna try to put that on there and get some tack welds in there.
Let's hope that works. Very gently. It's tight, but it might be moving or breaking. I don't know. Broke. We're going to get it. We just got to figure out another way. Okay, when I did this time, I got a nut. And I ground it so it was thinner. That way, I could get on it a little easier with the welder. So that's the hope and prayer for this one. Let's give it a shot. Give me to get the chisel on there. Before I uh, welded that nut on there, I forgot to tell you, I put a little uh, uh, lubricant on there. Hopefully, it'll loosen it up a little. Okay. Okay, we got our 9 16 <coughs> Try tapping it. We might have got it. I don't want to get ahead of myself. No, it's only going so far. Oh, yeah, we got it. See, the idea you need is to make sure you had good penetration between the nut and the stud that was left. And the bigger nut, thinner, was able to weld it and get a little better contact. I'm gonna spray it with a little more lube. Where's the back of the slow? Oh, geez, the lube did it. Look at that. These the treads feel fine. Ooh, that sucker's hot. Gotta be careful. Let me try a new nut in, or a new bolt in there. Uh, a little tight. I gotta run the tap through it. Oh yeah, there's a lot of rust in there. Must have an American bolt. Yeah, I got the wrong side bolt. Before we try again, let's clean it up a little while ago.
really full. I'm going to put a couple more spot welds around there. Then we'll try the nut again and then we'll be done with it. I want to make sure it doesn't break again. Gotta run the top to again. Must have got a little, little spark in there. Feels like I hit it already, right in the front. Okay, we're good. We only had two examples, so this was going to be a short one. But I just wanted to go and show some DIY guys, you know, that might not know or whatever. There's always a way to accomplish what you want. Like, you just got to think about it, and if at first you don't succeed, you try and try again. Okay, have a good one, guys. See you in the next one.